Um, the Black Parade is the name of our new album coming out in October. The Black Parade is also the name of our alter ego on this record. Um, this was a really difficult record to make, and there was a certain point where it was so dark for us that it felt like we needed to become much more than brothers. We had to be there for each other in many more ways, and we also needed to become a new band. Um, normally a band says that every time they make a record, and in some ways they become a new band, but we really did it this time and became a different band. Um, but, you know, make no mistake, we are My Chemical Romance still. It's just our alter ego for this record. The Black Parade is also the very basic premise of the record, which is um, when you die, I'd like to think that when you die, death comes for you however you want. And I feel that it's your strongest memory, either from childhood or adulthood. And for this particular character in this record called The Patient, his strongest memory is of being a child and his father is taking them to this parade. So when death comes for him, it comes in the form of a black parade. Lawrence, Kansas. Lawrence, Kansas. Awesome. Isn't that where yeah. James is from? Yeah. Well, we have some good friends in Lawrence, Kansas, so we'll say hi to you. Um, <laughs> so this record, I feel, the thing about My Chemical Romance is that every time they make a record, they jump very far ahead. It's not simply just the next record, but I feel that it's three jumps ahead sometimes. So, of course, with this record, it's, it's no different, and um, it's almost as if we got in a time machine and made the sixth or seventh record. Um, the Black Parade is an epic, theatrical, orchestral, orchestral, <laughs> big, big <laughs> record um, that you know is also a concept album that um, has a very set story in it. But also, as you listen to this record, the layers of that story peel away, and what you're left with at the end is a story about mortality and our own mortality. I feel. Um, but I think, you know, you guys yeah, have a lot you could say about the sound. I think, yeah, um, I think because of, you know, we really wanted to tell this story, and to be able to do that, we had to um, experiment a lot, you know, and um, we have a lot of new instruments on the record, um, one of them being piano, which kind of unlocked a whole new form of songwriting for us and, and is, was really instrumental in really creating the, the sound and, and to reach the scope of this record that it needed. Um, yeah, like the the album is very symphonic sounding it's very orchestrated it's you know five guys playing together more so than they ever have in their lives and it's kind of like this just tapestry of great sounds and um it's just really really epic and i, I think that's the best way to describe it yeah i think we took the the best elements of the first two records and, and really just ran with them so far that it doesn't sound like either anymore yeah so. yeah absolutely we've gotten to a point as a band um, we all feel that it's we could stop we could stop holding back a little bit. We never really held back, but now it's like anything was an option. We were encouraged so much by Rob Cavallo to do whatever we wanted that it just it just made us crazy. And it's it's such it's a record that's so full of life and it's so risky and daring and fun and it makes you laugh. It makes you cry. My favorite song is um, "Welcome to the Black Parade" because it personifies the whole record. Um, it's it's basically the one song that sums up the sound for the record and all the risks we took jammed into one kind of mini epic and it still retains everything that made us special i feel so it's kind of like when uh when a director has a bunch of movies it's kind of like we have three separate movies but it's one director you know it's kind of like they're all different but we like them all is anybody favorite songs i think we got oh one. favorite songs. yeah yeah that's right um, uh, all right. Uh, my favorite song on the record, I think, is is "Cancer." Um, it, it it's one of the most stripped down songs. I think it's a song where uh, we really listen to each other and listen to what the song wanted to be and what it needed to be, and found out where to play and where not to play. Uh, it's really just vocally and, and piano driven, which is something that we've never done before and never got a, a chance to try. And uh, there's some drums in it, some string arrangements, and uh, and some bass. But really, other than vocals and piano, like everything else, just really supports that. And uh, it's a it's a very intense song. I think uh, the way that Gerard sings and what he's saying really paints a uh, not a horrifying picture, but a, a very sad story. <laughs> and uh, 
and it, it's it's hard not to listen to that song and, and want to well up. But uh, I think Bob also does a, a great job of uh, singing it. Yeah, Bob <laughs> sings, we're, Bob we're sings his own version of Cancer. It's not my, It's it's a good imitation. <laughs> I think I think I have favorite? a different favorite every day. <laughs> today, today it's I, I agree with Gerard. Welcome to the Black Parade is my favorite. It's the one I have on repeat all the time. Um, I think um, I think my my favorite song is the the last track on the record uh, called Famous Last Words. Um, you know, like like Gerard said before, the album kind of takes you on a journey, and. Um, I, I like the fact that Famous Last Words leaves you, um, leaves the listener with a sense of hope at the end of the record and at the end of the journey. Um, that's why it's my favorite song. Bob's song. Um, every time we get asked this question, I change my mind. <laughs> uh, we were talking earlier, and I said that I said that Cancer was my favorite, but I didn't want to ever say that because because Frank, it's Frank's favorite song too. So then I changed it to Sleep, <laughs> and then I changed it to Welcome to the Black Parade, and I think I'm going to go with I Don't Love You today. We played it last night, and uh, it's a really good song, and it says a lot, and I think it's good that I keep changing my mind because there's so much stuff that I like. So 